Hey guys, Lethal Leslie here, and today I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know about crafting in Days Gone. So let's get straight into it. So I think the best place to start with this is going to be with the weapons wheel. As you can see, we have three guns on there and our melee, and they're just the directional buttons up, down, left, and right. And then in between them, you have your bandages, medical items, you have your thrower balls, which is Molotov cocktails and frag grenades and pipe bombs and things like that. You have your distractions, which is rocks, smoke, and other things along those lines. And then you have your traps. We don't have any traps ourselves yet. So they're the things you're going to find in your weapons wheel. And this is where you do the crafting. So that's important that you understand that if it's not on here, you cannot craft it right now. So if you're trying to craft something with parts, you may not have the recipe yet. With that being said, anyway, let me go and show you some of the things that we can craft on our wheel here right now. And we'll start with the bow. So we have a wooden bat at the moment. And if we press up, it will then load things we can craft with this bat. But not just that, you can also change your weapon here. So we could go to our normal knife. We have a normal bat, which we can then repair because we have spent some of our skill points to get that. And then there are two options to craft. We have the first one, which is the spike bat. And we can craft that because we have all the items. You can see in the middle now of the weapons wheel, it showed you wooden baseball bat, boxer nail and scraps and that is what you need to craft the spike bat but unfortunately we do not have a saw blade so we cannot craft this one and you need to go and find that out uh, find that out in the uh, in the open world guys so let's go ahead and craft our bat to start with and that'll be the first thing we'll craft here so we'll press r1 to craft it and as you can see now on our back it pulling out now he's made the spike bat so it's as simple as that really when you want to craft something if it's not on your weapons wheel you cannot craft it at the moment and you may not have the recipe yet. As you can see, more of cocktails here as well. Beer bottles, rags, and um, kerosene. And we're going to go ahead and craft one of them now. We'll craft another. And that's two of them crafted. So that's the weapons wheel out of the way. Hopefully that uh, helps you understand it if you were having any trouble. It's very simple once you get the hang of it. It's not hard at all. So anyway, let's press start now. And actually, which one is it? Is it swipe left? It is. It's swipe left. This is quite good with the touchpad. If you just swipe left, you don't need to press it down. It's going to take you straight to your inventory and you can go to your crafting here and see what you have available. So if we, as you can see, there's more stuff here than we had on our actual weapons wheel. And that is because some of the stuff you need to actually have on the wheel before it's going to show to craft it. For example... We have the spike 2x4 here, but obviously that was not on our weapons wheel because we don't have it at the moment. We have the bat, so then it doesn't show you the stuff that needs to craft. So if you want to see what you can craft, this is the area to come and just see which ones you've already unlocked. As you can see, these are all undiscovered so far, so we, we're not sure what we have here to come. With that being said, I'm going to show you how to actually get most of these items now. And for that, we need to go to the map, so we swipe down. Nope, we don't swipe down, we swipe right. So to unlock the crafting recipes, you're going to need to find campsites and then defeat the enemies in the campsites. Then find a bunker. Every campsite has a bunker in it and you want to go into that bunker. You're going to find yourself a map down there. And once you collect that map, you're going to unlock one, maybe two recipes along the way as well. These are all bunkers that I visited already. If you see in the little mini picture that pops up in the top left of it, there's a little campsite picture there. And that's going to be on the map before you've actually beaten the camp or you know killed everyone in the camp and taken over it found the bunker it's going to be a red fire with a little bit of wood underneath it so that's what you want to look for on your map is a little symbol of the red fire go there kill the enemies find the bunker collect the map and then you're going to get yourself the recipes and once you've done them you will see there's a little ladder underneath and it does tell you this was um horse creek ambush camp uh, over here we have bell knap caves ambush camp and we have another one here that we've done We have another one up here that we've done and there are several of these across the whole map And what's nice is when you collect the map It does lift the fog as well so that you it's much easier to see your way around and other things like uh, These historical markers start to show up on the map for you guys with that being said That is everything you need to know about the crafting on the game any questions Leave them in the comment section down below. If you've liked the video, like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching, as always, and take it easy.